Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're like me and you've tried everything just to make sure the water at home is safe, using those jug filters, buying packs of bottled water because deep down, you know tap water isn't completely safe, especially for the little ones, then you're in the right place. Meet the Frizz Life WB99 Countertop RO Water Filter. It promises pure, safe water on demand, no plumbing, no hassle. Today we're going to unbox it, test it out, and I'll share what it's really like to use every day. First up, the drip tray. It has a nice metal finish and it's detachable, which makes it super easy to clean or just throw away any extra water. Next is the FCR filter. This is the main filter which reduces over a thousand contaminants by 99.99%. Things like chlorine, lead, fluoride, heavy metals, you name it. And the best part is you only need to replace it about once a year. Then we've got the SC filter. This one comes after the RO process and it does two things. It helps with taste and it raises the pH slightly so the water is more alkaline. That makes it smoother to drink. This one needs replacing more often, around every three months. In the box, we also get a detailed user manual and it's available in different languages like English, German and more. So setup is pretty straightforward no matter where you are. And surprisingly, it comes with 150% warranty claimed by Frist Life. Next up, the removable water jug. Really handy because you can take it out, fill it easily and even pop it in the fridge if you want chill water later. It holds about 1.4 liters and it has removable lid which is secure so it doesn't slip off when you're pouring like with other jugs and the spout makes it easy to get a clean pour every time. Now onto the main unit. The design is really clean with a matte finish so it looks pretty good on the counter. Up top there's a clear quick start guide built right in so you don't miss any steps when setting it up. There are also instructions on how to reset the filter indicators when replacing it. Around the back is the refill tank and it has a pull-up handle that makes it easy to lift out and refill. You can even angle it to the side to fit it under the tap. The tank also comes with cleaning and maintenance instructions which is handy to keep everything in good shape. Inside the refill tank there's also a stainless steel filter mesh. This helps catch bigger particles before the water even goes through the main filters. It's a nice touch, but you do need to give it a quick clean every so often so it doesn't get clogged up. That way the system keeps running smoothly. It holds up to 4.5 liters, so you don't have to top it up too often. There's also a clear marking for the maximum level. Placing the refill tank onto the main unit is simple. It just slides in and locks into place. The only thing I've noticed is that since it's at the back, if you keep the machine facing forward on the counter, it can be a little tricky to pull it out when it's time to refill the water. And the last piece is the back cover for the water tank. This is included to block out direct sunlight, which helps prevent algae from forming inside the tank over time. What I like is that it's not just a flimsy piece of plastic. It's made from a cloth-like material that feels much more premium and durable. Before using it for the first time, you need to get the filters installed. It's really straightforward. Just open the bottom panel, line up the filter, give it a twist until it clicks and do the same with the second one. Once they are in, place the water jug and fill up the tank at the back, run a first cycles to flush everything out and you're ready to start using it. Now that it's set up, let's run through the features and see it in action. Once it's powered on, the touch panel lights up. At the top, you got the filter indicators, one for the SCR filter and one for the SC filter. These stay white most of the time, but when it's time to replace a filter, they turn red, so you don't have to guess or keep track yourself. Next, we have the filter indicator. This only shows up when the machine is actively filtering water. Then we have the pitcher indicator, so you'll always know when the jug is detected and ready to go. Then we move down to temperature control. You can either adjust it manually or use the preset options, 45, 85 or 95 Celsius. Perfect for things like baby formula, tea or coffee. And for safety, there's a child lock built in, especially for the hot water option, so little hands can't accidentally dispense boiling water. It even shows the current outlet TDS reading here as well, so you always know the water quality. Right below that are the dispensing volume options. You can choose exactly how much water you want, 120, 250 or 500 milliliters. Or you can just use the manual dispense button if you want to fill something bigger. Another neat feature under the water jug, there's a blue light. As long as the water is fresh and drinkable, the light stays blue. But if the water has been sitting in the jug for more than 48 hours, the light turns red. That's basically the system's way of telling you to toss the old water and let it make a fresh batch of RO water. It's also more efficient than older RO systems with a 3.5 to 1 pure to drain ratio. So for every 3.5 liters of clean water, only about one liter is wasted. Plus it uses advanced RO plus UV filtration, which removes over a thousand contaminants. Things like chlorine, lead, fluoride, heavy metals, even microplastics. And then the UV sterilization adds another layer of safety. 
All right, let's run a quick TDS test that's totally dissolved solids to see how clean the water really is. We'll test three samples, tap water, bottled water, and water from the Frislife WB99. I have got a TDS meter here, which measures total dissolved solids in the water. First up, tap water. The reading is around 400 ppm. That's on the higher side, which means there are a lot of dissolved minerals and other stuff in here. Next, bottled water. This one comes in at around 80 ppm. So it's much lower than tap, so definitely cleaner and better to drink. And finally, the Frizz Life. The reading here is about 71 ppm. That's just slightly lower than bottled water, but keep in mind, it's producing this at home on demand without all those microplastics in there. I've been using this for a few weeks now, and it's honestly been super convenient. You fill the tank once in the morning and you've got fresh water all day. And because it's plug and play design, you're not stuck with it in the kitchen. You could keep it in a bedroom, an office, even take it in an RV, and honestly, it's even replaced my kettle. Now I just use the filtered water straight for tea and coffee. And also the cleaning is simple. The tanks come out easily and the filters last much longer than those little cartridges you get with jug filters. With this, I don't have to think about changing filters every few weeks, which makes life so much easier. If you're interested in getting one for yourself, I've dropped the links down in the description and don't forget to use the coupon code there for a nice discount. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.